Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, today's beginner workout is the perfect workout to target all of the areas. It's a full body workout. We're gonna do a little bit of cardio, a little bit of strength. The format's gonna be upper body, lower body, and then a low impact cardio. All right, grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. We're gonna go through each of those circuits two times through. Lift within your own abilities. I'm gonna give you some sort of gauge I'll list the weights that I'm using behind each exercise at the top of the screen. So you can take a look there, but again, start really light. You want to be able to show up again tomorrow. That is the target. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Don't forget, I have a full two month summer schedule. I mean, you could do it any two months of the year. It doesn't matter, but it's a beginner schedule, summer strong, made just for you. I've written out my YouTube workouts in a cohesive order that is helpful to keep you on the track throughout the summer. All right, you can click or tap the card at the top of the screen and download that and get started today. Let's do this workout and move daily. All right, I'm gonna hit strength training on my watch. Let's start with the warm up, single side circle right here. Nice big circle, get the ball and socket warmed up and switch directions, nice. And switch your side. Switch directions. We're gonna squat low, reach high. If you can't squat, just do the hand action right there. Otherwise, up to the tiptoes. Stay tall, reach down and up. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width here. Five more. Last one here. Hands are out to the side, one behind the back, one behind the head. Now alternate right here. Last one here. And some hip openers. And I'm gonna come from the back to the front now. So back to front. Here we go for 10. Take it wide, toes are out. We're gonna to touch our opposite hand to opposite foot. If you can't touch your toe, go ahead and tap your knee or your shin, that's fine. Last one here, stay wide, and we're gonna side to side lunge. All right, drop that opposite shoulder down toward the knee. Good, and we'll do a double circle right here. Tap it out. Switch directions. Let's do some heel digs. We're gonna just sweep the heel, other side, sweep. Toe is up, heel is down. Just stretching through that calf, your Achilles, your hamstring. Let's get those things warmed up here. Last four. Last one here, and we'll finish right here with a nice little torso turn. Good. 
Very good. All right, upper, lower, cardio. There's the first circuit. We're gonna hit it two times three. Okay, a nice little bicep curl to shoulder press. I'm using fives. We're gonna curl up, turn, and press right there. All right, palms face the ceiling to start, and knees are soft. So curl it up, turn, press. Good. Set those weights down and into your leg extension. Hold on to something stable. All right, your stationary knee is soft and we're gonna extend that leg out straight behind us. I'll call halfway and we'll switch. Here we go and we kick and kick. So you're slightly forward leaning, core is engaged and back is flat. All right, just hold the wall, something just to sustain your balance here. And you're gonna feel a little bit of that glute tension in your stationary leg as well. Switch sides and kick. Good. You don't need to kick too high. Okay, we just want that glute to squeeze behind us. So wherever you feel it activate, that's probably high enough. All right. I'm gonna grab some light dumbbells for my cardio. Just the two pounds, you don't have to use these if you don't want. And we're gonna start with a cardio kick with that front punch there. Shoulders back. We kick and punch. That's it. And back to the top. I'm gonna choose eights, but you could stick with lighter weights if you'd like. Bicep curl to the shoulder press. It'll be whatever you can shoulder press. That is a weaker muscle than the bicep. So we curl and press. Don't lean forward on the curl part, okay? Tendency might be to let the dumbbell swing at the bottom and jump forward. Just stay tall. 15 more seconds here. Very good. Into the legs. Holding on to something, stationary knee is soft, foot is flexed, and then it's that nice kick behind. Let's work here. I'll call half. Three, two, one, switch sides. And let's move into cardio kicks again. I'll hold the twos, front punch. Right there, keep those shoulders low away from your ears. All right, let's work.
Okay, with twos, threes, fives, we're gonna do a lateral raise into a front raise right there, shoulders back. Start lighter, just to see where you're at. Knees are soft, lateral here. Now front, alternating these two, up and front. Form is important here as well. When the weight is in the front, we often tend to round in those upper shoulders. I want you to stick your chest out. All right, reset it at the bottom. Stay tall. Go into a squat twist, high knee. If you don't want to squat, you can stick with the twist right here. All right, I've got an eight pound dumbbell, feet a little wider than shoulder width. You drop in the squat, up and twist, back to squat, other side twist. Setting that down, moving to cardio. Okay, we're gonna do a cross in front jack. Hands are up to start. Knee comes up, tap, up, and tap. All right, let's work. You're here, and here. If you can't get this, just give me a side to side tap with those hands, okay? Back to your arms, twos, threes, or fives. I'm gonna pop it up a little bit this time to my fives, but go lighter if you like. Lateral raise, front raise combo, shoulders low and back. Pop it here and front. I'll be holding that eight for my squat twist. Eliminate the squat with just that torso twist. Working a bit of hip flexor, so that's good as well. Keep wider than shoulder width and drop low and twist. Switch sides and twist. Awesome front jack. Reaching up and down, up and down. <laughs> Here we go. Let's work.
All right, quick water break. Take a look at the screen, you'll see what's coming up next. Grab the appropriate weights. We are heading to the ground for the full circuit, so make your way down to the ground. Okay, I'll be taking my tens and my fives down to the ground. Starting with that chest press, over the chest, lying on your back. Here we go. Press over the chest and down to the ground. Up and down. All right, I want the dumbbells to stay over the chest. And when you're at the top, you're gonna squeeze your pec muscles together and flex. Straighten your arms and flex. Nice. Set those aside, we're gonna go into a glute bridge. I'm gonna use one of the 10 pound dumbbells. Feet are close to your bottom, shoulder width apart. Put the dumbbell on your pelvis, and we're gonna go up and pulse and squeeze those glutes. Up, pulse, and down. Up, pulse, and down. In the heat from a hot California. I forgot how you look like in rain. That's why I never thought it would matter. If I'm going by, you know, all my weakness keep on linger, linger on. On repeat like it will be my favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on. But you got me good, you got me good. I keep on linger, linger on. On repeat like it will be my favorite song. Okay, let's make some cardio. Getting into a mountain climber here, plank position. We're gonna tap this in just like this. If you don't wanna be on your wrists, you can stand and just do some high knees if you wish. Otherwise, plank right here and tap it in. Alternating feet, bum is down, core engaged. Now it's important that you don't let that upper back sag here, so push up through the shoulder blades. back over for our chest press. I'll stick with those tens on my back. Pressing over the chest. Wrists are locked in neutral. And we press and flex. seconds. Setting one of those weights down. Moving into my glute thrust. I'm just going to place that weight securely on my pelvis. Hold it with my hands. Feet close to the bottom. We'll pulse at the top and squeeze. So you're up, squeeze and drop. One, one thousand and drop. Two, one thousand, drop. Okay, flip it over for your mountain climber. I'm 
plank position. We're standing high knee. Here we go. And we tap and tap. Stay down here for the next circuit. Flip back over. All right, moving into tricep press overhead extension. So you can grab a bit lighter of a weight, maybe threes, fives, or eights, somewhere in that range. Palms are facing, press to the ceiling, and then back at the elbow. So up, back at the elbow, up, and down to the ground. Arms stay close to the body. Kind of sweep your sides when you come down. And you're just bending back at the elbow. Okay, dumbbells go on each side of your head. into the fire hydrant, so flip back over. Flip flop, flip flop. <laughs> That's good for us though, you know. You gotta do that action in life. All right, you're here, lift it up to the side. I'll call halfway and we'll switch legs. Out you get there, try to bring that knee up to 90 degrees or an angle of 90 there. If you can't get that high, just go as high as you can. Three, two, one, switch legs. Okay, make your way to standing for your cardio. Make sure there's no dumbbells in your path, and we're gonna go into ice skaters. Low position, step tap, step tap. All right, shoulders back, you're here, tap and tap, that's it. So we're in that lower squat position, activating our glutes, using the hands to kick up our heart rate as well. That's hard on your knees, stand tall right here. Otherwise, drop with me, let's go. Ground again. Round two. Back to your tricep press extension. You can stick with twos, threes, fives, eights, somewhere in that range. Palms facing. Press it up, back, up, and down to the ground. Very nice. Flipping over for your fire hydrant. Flat back on this and I will call half. All right, nice neutral neck and spine. Look at your hands. We lift and lift. legs. 
That stationary leg gets a good amount of ac action just with an isometric hold. You're just holding tension in that glute the entire time. So we feel it, don't we? I know. <laughs> Almost there. And then we stand for your ice skater. Again, make sure your path is clear. Nice and low. We're bringing that arm in front, leg behind. Side to side, and we tap here and here. You can jump these if you wish. Very nice. Quick water rest before our last circuit. Take a look at the screen. We're gonna do this one standing. I'm gonna start just with these light two pound dumbbells. We're gonna do a pec deck with a rotator cuff. You can do this without dumbbells, just to start round one and see how it feels. Go very light. These are soft, so we squeeze and we drop, that's it, squeeze and drop. Surprisingly, the light weights really add up, again, because we're holding an isometric contraction in our shoulders. That means we're not letting tension off the arms. They're basically holding themselves up here for a full 40 seconds, okay? That causes some good muscle recruitment when we have to do that. So go light, 10 seconds. All right, you can also eliminate this part if you'd like and just stick uh, with the pec deck. All right, into your plie. I'm gonna hold just an eight pound dumbbell, wide stance, toes are out, shoulders back, pulse at the bottom. So we're down, pulse and up. Very good. Now, if you can't squat, feel free to do some wide knees right there instead. Setting the weight down. We're gonna do two front kicks, two butt kicks. So arms are out. You're gonna go one, two, back for one, two. All right, two in the front, two in the back. Let's go, one, two, back, one, two. Back to the top, grabbing the twos for the pec deck, rotator cuff, again this can be done without weights, that's fine, these are soft, shoulders back, and we squeeze and drop. Okay, into 
the plie pulse. I think I'll go a little heavier, maybe with my 12. You can do whatever you wish. Wide stance, toes are out. And we drop pulse and up. down all the way. You can just do a little one if you wish. Very good. All right, finishing off with your cardio to front. Pop, pop to butt there and there. Start now if you like. Get ready. Let's work nice and quick if you can. Up, up, back, back. Right there, work. beginner workout. Thanks for joining. I'm going to take it down to the ground and stretch it out. Join me for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's take it down to the ground. We're going to start lying on our back. Arms out to the side, feet on the ground, and let's gently let those knees fall to one side. All right. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Hitting that little torso turn here. This is a great morning stretch too if you're like just lying in bed and just Bring your knees up and then let those legs fall side to side. Switch sides. Just gets everything all twisted out here. <laughs> I don't know why it's always like an amazing stretch for me. It's never not. So I must be tight in the torso a little bit. I know I am on one side. I can feel that for sure. Very good. Okay, let's put our one foot down. Grab the back side of your other one. Flex the foot and draw it in. I'm gonna stretch that hamstring here a bit. Okay, so is this going to be the perfect workout for everyone? No, I, I had some feedback the other day that the beginner workouts were too difficult. And I guess the thing is, is I mean, there's going to be, how, how do you please everyone, right? How do you get the right level for every person? What's beginner for one person in her 40s is not going to be beginner for someone in their 70s, right? If you're just starting out. So I think... The, the way I film these, I'm more in my brain geared to that 40, 50, 60. Uh, although people of all ages are welcome to join and can join, but that's not who's, who I'm thinking about when I'm curating the exercises and trying to, to do them. I'm not thinking about the person, let's roll on our side, who's, um, you know, has to sit in a chair and do all, all the workouts. There are a ton like that on YouTube. I actually have one, uh, seated workout, but it's actually really hard. It's not even an easy workout. So generally speaking, you know, you're going to be benefiting if you're moving versus not moving. So I implore you, if this is not the channel for you, switch sides to find something that's a little bit easier. That's a little bit more your pace. Uh, we were up and down today off the ground. So a lot of beginners will be able to do that. Maybe people have children or grandchildren and they're getting up and down and up and, you know, playing with them. I hope that you can do that. That should be something that you begin to aim toward if you can't do that, because that's an important function for the rest of your life. I've told this story a million times, but uh, one of my clients, her mother was 75 and fell on the ground, didn't hurt herself. But then when she went to stand up, she couldn't because she didn't have the strength in her legs in her arms, she even went over to her bed to try and pull herself up and she couldn't. And so my client basically said, I need to not be like that. So what do I have to do? And the fact is, is that you have to use those muscles that are required to get down on the ground and stand back up. And so doing some training like we were doing, even, you know, the bending, the squatting, the, 
fire hydrants, like all of those actions are going to help sustain and maintain our lean muscle in those areas. And we need to do that because if you're not at least maintaining, building would be ideal. But if, if you're not maintaining, you're losing. Okay. And that's going to lead to sarcopenia, which can impact your health and lifespan dramatically. It's just not worth it. So is it work? Of course it is. It's not easy. Someone said that the other day, uh, this would be great if it wasn't so hard. I'm like, well, welcome to life. <laughs> this is hard work. It's not easy. Not all of us enjoy it. I do, but not everyone does, right? And so, but those are the things that sometimes we have to do hard things that we don't enjoy to get the outcome that we desire. And if the outcome you desire is to main, you know, take care of yourself, increase lifespan and health span, decrease disease span, increase longevity, then these are the things you just have to do. You have to put them on the list. You have to practice them because if you don't practice it, if you don't use it, you lose it. And that is never more true than when it comes to our stability, our balance, our lifts. So start here, but don't stop here. Like try to keep increasing the weight as you can within your own fitness level. And, uh, you know, keep challenging yourself because if you don't challenge it, um, you know, we, we just atrophy and that's not what we want. All right. Good talk. Thanks for joining. Hey, if you're looking for that summer strong program for beginners, click or tap right there. You can download that and get started today. It, it runs from July and August, but it's a go at your own pace program. So you don't need to start at any specific time. Basically it's two months worth of scheduling just for you. All right. See ya. Thank you.